Hey, welcome back to Learning Self-Reliance. Today I'm going to be showing off my new safe. This is the Fat Boy Junior by Liberty Safe. Because I recently found out that my wife is pregnant, we decided it was about time to lock up our firearms. So we purchased this at Cabela's for about uh, $1,400, uh, but in the process of it being uh, manufactured and stuff, it went on sale at Cabela's, so Cabela's ended up refunding us about $300, which was awesome customer service by them, so really good job on that. This took about six weeks to manufacture. We had a couple of customizations on it. Uh, we wanted it black. Normally they do it kind of in a gray, and we also wanted the dial lock here, so it's a mechanical lock, no uh, electronics in there at all, which is awesome, just the way I like it. Um, we uh, do have a couple of our preps to deal with EMPs or something like that, which I think are highly unlikely, but I still just, uh, it, it doesn't really cost more to do to prepare for it. So we do have some preparations like that. And this is one of those. So we've got the dial lock on there and uh, I really like it. One of my major complaints with this safe is the poor lighting inside of it. Uh, Liberty Safe really does not have any good lighting options and that's something they really need to work on. But they are a safe company, they aren't a light company, so maybe that's not that big of a deal. But uh, I do wish that they'd had um, some higher quality lights available for a better price. Let's get this safe open and uh, show you guys the specifications. One thing to pay attention to is I'm going to open it kind of slowly. I want you guys to notice how there is no lighting inside, but when it opens, by the motion of it opening, it turns on some lighting. So pay attention for that. All right, putting my pin on the dial lock. Really simple to open, just rotate this and pull out. Notice how the uh, lighting inside is off and then when the uh, uh, I open this, it's gonna activate by motion and it will turn on the light. There we go. So as you can see, a whole ton of space in here. I could easily get inside of this spot over here. I've got a couple of, I got my rifle and stuff over here to give you a bit of scale. Let's go over the uh, dimensions of this safe here. The interior height is 56.5 inches, interior width is 38 inches, and the interior depth is 14.5 inches. Okay. Externally, it is 60 inches high, 42 inches in width, and 25 inches in depth. When I purchased this safe from Cabela's, I made sure to uh, find somebody locally that would be willing to deliver it. Uh, the guy was awesome. He went and picked it up. Brought it over to my house. He had an awesome mechanical uh, dolly that he used to bring the safe into my house. Totally worth it. it. Cost about 200 bucks to have the guy move it in. Definitely couldn't have done it myself because this thing weighs 750 pounds. I'd highly recommend hiring somebody to move this safe for you. I did make sure to bolt this safe to the ground. Uh, this safe's got a pretty easy uh, system to bolt it down. You just pull this little plug off the bottom here and it exposes a bolt that's down in the concrete. So I drilled a hole with a hammer drill and then I smash one of these into there. So what you do is you put this sleeve on top of a bolt and uh, when you screw in the nut, it expands, it pulls up the bolt on the bottom here and it expands the sleeve and holds the safe in place. So I've got four of these holding this guy down. I don't think it's going anywhere. And again, the safe weighs 750 pounds, so it's gonna be a huge deal to try to knock this thing over or to attempt to move it for anybody, including myself, <laughs> if I ever need to move this safe. The shelving you see here is totally customizable. Each shelf has a little uh, set of hooks underneath it that you can change different sizes along this panel here and make sure it fits uh, the items that you want. This also comes with two gun racks like this. I've got one on the left side and if you had a second set of long guns you could put it over here. Uh, I've got it underneath this cover here so I can just turn it into a regular old shelf because uh, I don't have that many long guns. And you can see here with the scale with this ammo box here, it's got plenty of room for large sets of ammo and things like that. The door's got a really nice cover. Uh, you can slide in full-size pistols here. This is the uh, pistol I purchased, the XD9 Mod 2. I'll do a video about that later. It's got several different sleeves here and uh, a document folder as well that you can zip up and put some documents into, like uh, uh, passports or something like that. Let me show you the inside label on the safe door here. So this one's rated for 60 minutes of fire protection. It's got three layers of fireboard on the ceiling, two in the walls, three in door jams, and then three in the door. This safe has 11 gauge steel. I actually had some steel from the manufacturer and I shot it with my AR, but I wasn't able to make it through. 
but a 308 was able to make it through. Now let's talk about the lighting. Um, the lighting that the manufacturer offers is a couple of uh, long motion activated LEDs that you can buy and I really didn't like them. So what I did is I bought an LED strip. You can see this LED strip just running all the way down here. So I've got this plugged into a 12 volt adapter, just your standard 12 volt plug. I terminated it myself using a uh, 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter plug and then I plugged that into a motion activated these uh, AC plug here. When this unit here detects motion, it turns on and provides power to the LED lights. So I think this is a much better system. I've got them ringed around entirely around the inside, the bottom, all the way up both sides and on the top of this safe. Overall for this uh, light system I put in myself was probably something about $30 or so. Um, I believe the motion activated unit here was was about uh, $18. This adapter here, you've probably got some lying around your house, but if you need one, you can probably get one for less than $10. And then the LED strip here only cost about six bucks. And this uh, little plug that I terminated it with probably cost about a dollar or something like that. So about $30 for this lighting setup, which if you look at, really lights the safe up well and really provides a lot of uh, light sources so that your uh, items don't have shadows across them which could be confusing if you're looking into something dark. So this is nice and bright, really makes it easy to find what you're looking for. Another change that I made to this safe was to add on this uh, power socket back here. Let me unplug these lights and use my flashlight to show you. Alright, I apologize for the poor lighting here but uh, in the back here you can see there's these uh, three power plugs with a uh, USB port and a Cat5 networking port. This is a separate unit you can purchase for the safe and uh, I put it in there myself. Uh, once it, the safe was on my carpet, I was able to push it around manually just by, just by myself. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but uh, I think uh, no way my wife could have done it. So you need to be uh, pretty strong to move the safe around. But I moved it around and uh, put this little plug in there myself. And I hooked up a network cable and uh, plugged this into the wall. And so I get power and networking into this safe. And later, I've got a plan to take a Raspberry Pi and uh, do a safe monitoring uh, uh, script, uh, which I'll hopefully be able to demonstrate later, but uh, it's in the works right now, definitely nowhere close to done. But uh, this is a separate unit that you buy and you can install yourself. I think if you purchase it from, purchase the safe directly from the manufacturer, you can request that they install this and they'll probably do it for you. But uh, I just purchased it myself and uh, put it in. It wasn't that big of a deal. I did have a little bit of issues installing it. Uh, the instructions were very sparse. By that I mean there were none. And so I had to figure it out myself. It wasn't that difficult. I did have to cut uh, a couple of pieces a little bit to make it fit. But uh, it seems to be working really well. The safe has several different bolts that go out and hold on to the, uh, hold the door into the safe. And there's uh, five on the side and one on the top and bottom. And they seem to be pretty sturdy to me. They lock behind a uh, metal lip inside of the safe, which will go like, like my finger here goes past and uh, uh, locks it in. Which is one thing I was careful for with the LED strip was to make sure that it was as far back away from these bolts as I could make it go. That way they wouldn't uh, get smashed or crunched by the uh, bolts. Another thing you got to be careful for is uh, the LED strip that I've got in here actually goes behind, it goes behind this uh, hinge here. And I wanted to be really careful and make sure that I didn't crush my LEDs when, you open, when I open the door. So if you end up going with a system like this, you could either put a rubber washer or something like that in here to make sure that the door can't open completely and crush the LEDs behind. Uh, but I'm lucky and I can't open this all the way because it'll end up actually hitting the wall. So the, the wall prevents these LEDs from getting crushed. You could try putting the LEDs on the outside of this hinge, but I really wouldn't trust it. Uh, I think it would either get bent too much and moved around too much by this hinge or crush just on the other side over here. One of the weaknesses in this lighting system that I've got here is that it is not battery powered. So if the power went out to my house, these LEDs wouldn't turn on. So one thing I've done to mitigate this problem is I've put a full-sized glow stick in here. So I would all, all you have to do is just bend this, shake it up, and you're immediately going to get some light. I've got a second one sitting here as well. 
I just found this at the dollar store for a buck. So I've got a couple of these in here to uh, give me some guaranteed chemical light. I could put a uh, UPS or an uninterruptible power supply down here and plug this into it, the motion activated unit into the UPS, and that would provide power, but those are kind of pricey and I don't have one lying around, so I'm just going with the glow stick option for now. I've also got a uh, light on my rifle as well and several other lights around the house, so it's not a big deal. One of the things I changed about this safe was adding on a light to the dial lock. There, electronic locks have a light built into it, but the dial lock does not come with one. So they offer a little magnetized light here, just a little red LED. I'll just push this button here. A little red LED. I find this uh, light works well enough for manipulating the dial at night. Uh, one complaint I do have is that these, uh, the dial lock here is kind of shiny and it makes it hard to see because the light will kind of reflect off of it. So I would I would personally rather have this to be kind of a dull with black numbers instead of uh, shiny with black letters, but that's just me. Another feature of this safe is it's got this uh, dial lock which will prevent the unit, uh, the mechanical lock here from rotating. Uh, you can lock it so somebody can't just sit here and try lots of uh, combinations without you noticing. So I guess if you go on vacation, this would slow somebody down just a little bit more and make it so they've got to uh, either break or uh, pick this lock. I've only had this safe for about a month so far, but uh, after adding in this extra lighting, I found it to be a really, really good safe. I didn't purchase a real safe. This is technically called a residential security cabinet which is just fine by me. Um, I've seen quite a, when I was looking to purchase this, I went through a lot of YouTube videos and guys were saying, oh, you gotta make sure you get a real safe, a residential security cabinet. It's just crap and it's not gonna help you at all. You gotta buy a real safe. But of course, a real safe is five or $6,000. And the funny part about that is uh, the items I'm putting in the safe are probably cheaper than the safe itself. So I don't quite have enough money invested in firearms and things like that to warrant such an enormous purchase. I mean, if somebody broke into my house, it'd be worth breaking open the safe and then throwing the items away and taking the safe because the safe would be worth more money. So for now, we decided to settle with a residential security cabinet, but this is, my opinion, is going to be plenty enough to stop any just average break-in. Uh, it would have to be somebody have uh, planning and a bit of training, at least, to break into something like this. All right, guys, that's it. This is just a quick product review and kind of a demonstration and also mentioning a couple of changes I've made to this safe to make it a little bit more usable. Really happy with it. Really happy with Liberty Safe. Uh, I do think Cabela's could use a bit of work on their customer service, but uh, overall, I, I'd say they'd get like four out of five stars. They did a good job, especially refunding me that money that uh, after the safe had gone on sale after we'd already purchased it. All right, let me know if you have any questions, anything I missed in the comments below, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe.